Uh, immunity, ignore the armor and status effects. Okay, so we have immunity for the whole game. Uh, when we get armor, we're healed. All right, go. Uh, what character is this? Blood Mage? Is this character specific to this challenge? Or do you get Blood Mage for all... Wait, are there even more characters than the ones we unlocked in Classic Mode? Oh wow, are they all different as well? That would be cool. Okay, so we can't have status effects. We can't have armor. A couple of the same. Okay. That's that's still nice though. There's some different ones. Uh, wait, what's our power? Swinging sword inflicts one damage to a random, visible, non-boss enemy. Repeat until an enemy dies. Okay, I've seen that ability on yeah one of the other characters before. Although I never played with it. Sounds like a fun ability. Um... Okay, I don't need the heal, so let's go get money. And I can't get... Sh so shield is like a heal. Shield is like a heal, okay. Okay. So let's go... Carefully. Oh, uh, protection is like, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so we can't be poisoned, so there's no downside to go in there. And in fact, that then lets us attack so we get skulls. Uh, yeah, so let's do that, and that, and that. Uh, golden chest. Golden chest, is that a free item? Yes. Here when we see blindness gain one... Okay, we can't get anything anyway. When starting a level, you gain one armor durability for each enemy attacked in the previous level. So that will heal us, I guess. Definitely go for the chest. Okay, good. Um, yes, yeah, so that's like a heal. So I'm going to take that. No choice, gold, sword, done, hearts. As long as you have stealth, plus, okay, we can't have stealth, poison hammer. Poison cards consume all your skulls and inflict as much damage to visible enemies. So that will still do its thing, presumably, because that's not reliant on us getting the poison status. Increase the chance that the enemy's loot is a mana potion, which I would kind of like. This makes poison kind of act like a sword. Although that's not good for points, so I'm going to go for Book of Mana. Yeah, and you lose your skulls as well. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to be healing off the back of this. I don't know how much for. Mm. That's only a heal for one anyway. I'm gonna leave it, save my money. I don't regret that. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get the potion. Uh, although, get the shield, I guess. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. Merchant chest. Cheese, that's useless. Heal. Shield. Heal. Use this. Go. Eh, could have been better. Ah, uh, but we go there, we'll go there, we'll go there. Um, let's take a heal. 
One mana. Heal. Heal. Finer than I was thinking it would be. Heals you for one for every visible enemy when starting an enemy uh, level. As long as you have stealth, we won't. Heals you completely when you pick up a corrupted item. Uh, not planning on doing that much, so we'll take the ink well. Okay. Yeah, we get attacked if we go there anyway, so let's do that. Uh, this seems like a good place to do this. <laughs> nice. Um, just the dead. Spectral sword, minus one to bosses. Strawberry heal, light point. Oh, we're not going to receive statuses. Uh, replace heart cards with item cards. No. One to bosses is not super good, but sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, Immune to blindness. That's okay, I already am. We see protection times one after being attacked by an enemy. Okay, that's good. Uh, yes, let's take that. A risky game. Choose a cursed item. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that seems nice. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance of inflicting blindness too. No, they don't. Uh, remove two potion cards. Don't want to do that. Deal one damage to you when you move directly ahead. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a monster eye because that will do nothing. This is interesting. It feels like this might be a good run to take a lot of corrupted items and then have items that do stuff off the back of corrupted items because a lot of corrupted items are going to give you a status that we can't get anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go there. Just wondering whether to use this and then go through the enemies. That's a way to get some skulls, but. I won't really get many after I've used that. So, no, let's hang on to that. Gold. Get the skulls and then shield save the ability. Ah, okay. Too late. <laughs> I'm playing just fast enough and the chat lag is just long enough that... Um, apologies if I miss any suggestions. Gold. Uh, there. Let's use 
this now. Okay, do that. Do that. Get that. Uh, heal for three. 18 is pretty good, so let's go for the gold. Gold. Wait, when is that? After being attacked by an enemy, we get protection one, okay. Uh, merchant chest. Gold bard, one gold coins to future levels. When your armor runs out of durability, well, that's not going to happen. Removes two potion cards in all future levels. Which we don't want to do. And a gold card. Oh, protection is a... Of course it is. Oh, so it's not doing anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I missed that as well. Okay. No worries. Is it worth it? Okay, well, it's fine. Uh, let's go up to the right. Wand. When you attack an enemy, you gain a mana point. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Near the dead, your power also consumes all your skulls and inflicts as much damage. Mm. Heart cards give you seven armor, but you may not increase that. Let's do magic wand. Level seven. <laughs> Scared. Let's go up the side. Heal. Gold. Heal. We attack an enemy, gain a mana. We'll just go that way and gain three mana, but then we get the skulls that way. Let's go this way. Hey, 
we can kill this with this. Surely there has to be an achievement for that. No. You can't? Uh, what does it say? Non-boss? Ah, oh, visible non-boss enemies. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm at full health. I got no mana, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Black Beetle adds one protection card, which doesn't matter because we can't use protection. Chests give you three gold. Uh, you get three armor durability and blindness too. So you heal for three when starting a level. Uh, what level are we on? I remember. It's better. Take them up. Eight. Poison hammer. Poison cards can see all your skulls. Blah 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 blah. No, let's do that and heal. Do that and heal, it's only one. Oh, wow, okay. Now, 51 gold to spend. Go this way. Meat, get a random status, nope. Uh, corrupted, deals one damage to you when you move directly ahead. Define meat, random status, no. Forge. The poison cards also inflict three damage to nearby enemies. Uh, yeah, that's good. Starting a level, you gain one armor durability, which we. I uh, know we can, because it's not protection. Yeah, poison dagger seems good, right? Next enemy attack will not inflict any damage. Yeah, let's get Poison Dagger. So, yeah, that will heal us. It's Time Shield. This That will be it. Oh, we've already got Time Shield. Okay, fine. Let's not get another one then. Alchemist Store or Jewelry Store? It does stack. Oh shoot, I missed that. I think we're alright though. I feel like we've got several things that are healing us now, right? Not as well. Uh, I don't know yet what's in. Yeah. Just it only shows you when you first pick it up, right? So once you've picked it up, uh, it doesn't say anymore. Uh, you'd say joy? Okay. I can't remember what's in these different stores enough. Uh, Proves the effect of greed by three. When you use your power, inflict one damage to all visible enemies for each corrupted item in your inventory. So that's two damage to everybody. Gold coin charge. Oh, that cards have a chance of giving you one mana. Um. Does that happen after the power or before the power does its thing? If it if death orb triggers before the power does its thing. Uh, well no, I, I guess that's still alright, yeah. Yeah. And we may get more corrupted items, right? Level 10. Uh, this is probably going to be a good thing to do. Do I do it now while I've only got high hit point enemies? No, let's do it now. Okay, so good. Love that power. Um, all right. Two, yes, let's go up this side. We can attack 
him. You attack an enemy again and mana point as well, so yeah, we do kind of want to do that. And then we can, oh. I was planning to go there, there, and but then that's only a net gain of three, so that's not the best. I'll do this instead. this way I take nine damage if I go here I take six Does nothing. Uh, heal the. Do we do this now? Let's do this now. Do I just scoop up that gold, or do I? It actually works out the same, so I'll do that and that. Chest of the dead. All poison cards also inflict one damage to visible enemies. Uh, okay, that is good. That helps with poison dagger as well. Uh, when you get gold coins, gain three armor durability. Send them as heals. That's no good. So it's a poison scythe. We can do stuff like that. That's not worth attacking him. Can't use my power on a boss. These bosses are getting scary. Uh, as long as you have stealth, doesn't matter. You get stealth, doesn't matter. All healing potions, cards, cure you of blindness, doesn't matter either. Uh, so yeah, none of them matter. Okay, level 11. <laughs> Do I just use this off the bat? Mm, 
no, I need to keep myself topped off. Because the boss is going to be progressively harder. Ooh. Ooh, this is rough. mana which will give me my power. No, I'll go there. Go there. Five. Five. That's gold. Him, got my power, heal, gold. Oh wow, okay. There, attack him, and then heal, and mana, and we're good. Vitality Dagger, bosses loot will always be a healing potion card. When you use your power, you receive greed four. I can't get greed, I uh, can't get that. Boss's loot will always be healing. I'm fine with that. Okay, Unreal Gift. Uh, received, removes two potion cards in all future levels. Not a fan of that. Well, what's the corrupted benefit we got? It. Wait, do I have anything that gives me stuff for coming corrupted items? Yeah, Death Orb. When I use my power, one damage to all visible enemies for each corrupted item. So is it worth losing two? I feel like I've probably got Potions that I need, so I'm gonna go for that. Sure. Final level. Final level. Go there. I think let's not be greedy. is 15, this is 16 this way, this is a bigger healer. Oh god, so many enemies. Uh, ooh, yeah, I can't even attack him because then we die. I gotta do... Oh my god. This is a bit rough. Yeah, I gotta go there. We definitely die there, so. And we would die going there, so I've gotta go here. Oh my god. Go there. that one more mana I think is probably going to be critical rather than the merchant chest 
do I use it here? Uh, actually, the, the poison's pretty good, though, isn't it? So he's going to get four damage to him. So let me do four damage back to me. Oh, but what's up here? Yeah, no, it's still there. Uh, getting two mana. I don't care. I'm going to keep this. Go up the middle. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what we gotta do. Well, it's worth getting the three mana. The loss of four health. I don't think so. Chest of the Dead. It's one chest card for each crypt All future levels doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's heal up. Yeah, I'm more focused on, on just getting to the end of the level and living rather than getting loads of points, I think. Is a little bit scary, but I think we're fine. That's the boss there. Uh, so we could probably attack him, get the shield, and he'd be down one hit point. How much damage does the boss do? It's not more than 20, right? It's not. All right, new card unlocked. Antidote. You are immune to poison. Nice. Game score, 727.